Light dive. So if you missed last episode, shame on you. We're still at the same dive site, but I had to make a whole other episode because we filmed so many things on the last dive. And uh, I have pretty good faith that we're going to film a lot on this dive too. What about you? I eat gelato. <laughs> <laughs> she found a... They have the seaweed. They eat like salad. It's called lato. And we found a nudibranch that has evolved to look exactly like this thing. And she said, I probably ate one on accident. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, it's late now. 8.30. I think we'll get in the water by 9.30. Got the whole crew helping us find some stuff. But that last dive was epic, so I think this next dive is going to be pretty cool too. What do you think, Alex? <laughs> Are you Japanese now? Uh, Chinese, Chinese. Oh. Ni hao. Ni hao. <laughs> so, how did you find that green uh, lato nudie yesterday or earlier? When I point the torch. Yeah, he looked at you? Yeah, I was scrapping just a little bit, uh, scrapping the. So you point the torch and he's sleeping and he said, Hey, yeah. stupid, I'm sleeping. She's walking like, oh, okay, this is it. Then I show you that one, maybe, maybe Justin cannot What's see this on one. The no, on the, on the, the top. On the top. Yeah, I'll put it back there. Lato? Hey, oh, I want to go back. Yeah, them it looks to, like uh, salad. Look it, but I did not found. <laughs> Judea said she oh, probably okay. ate one before yeah. on accident. <laughs> in the salad. I took so the sand and everything. But yeah. that was the first time I filmed it. I mean, and, uh, the second one that I see Alex, on that dive, I got six new species of nudies. Yeah. That I've never filmed before. So I'm well over 100, like 102. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh. <laughs> He's so overwhelmed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 you're supposed to, this is YouTube, you're supposed to say, oh my God. Uh. No. Okay. Pretend that you wow, 100. <laughs> Six species. Species. <laughs> How many? Like. Wow, Justin, you're amazing. Oh my God, <laughs> Alex. Alex okay. I'm basically your hero. Critter hunter. Look at that sir, pin pin. What's the from the last time from your previous video? <laughs> my previous episode. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, we don't even know. What do you think? It's a bobtail. Oh yeah, that's two bobtails, right? Well, it was this big. <laughs> oh, was it? A, oh, was it a pygmy squid? Look at the, it's green, mm, blue, yeah. and it, look Boom. at that bump. Red, green, and blue. I've never seen this before. Mm, yeah, that's what, what is I'm, this. I'm, Finn, I'll have to make an episode. He saw a few different things than I did. Why is it this color? No, that the color is really uh, weird. Uh, bobtail yeah. squid. Is that a cockroach? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. it's a bakukang. Where'd it go? Here, here. I'm trying to find the critters. Yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Bakukang. Yeah, good. What is it? Coconut bug. Co coconut bug? Yeah. That's oh, so looks like a oh, scarab from that? Egypt. What nudie is that? Oh, nudie. <laughs> you know what I. They're like. I don't like that guy. Very strong. Ah. That's very strong. Yeah. Hold it, it's really strong. No. No. You ready, Jeffrey? Yes, I'm ready. You ever see uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air? I never seen it. Yet. Yeah, you're Jeffrey. Because <laughs> you got the same name. Yeah. Not because you're a butler. <laughs> Man, fancy seeing you here. What a surprise. So, nearly time? Yeah, let's skip the uh, artificial reef. We go to the left side, the wild reef, some coral area, and some CRC, and maybe uh, seven harlequin. Man, I was counting on four harlequin, but if you say seven, yeah. I guess. <laughs> no less. How can I sleep if you're here? <laughs> go back home. But you, Judea, yeah. what do you do while we dive? Because our first dive was 90 something minutes, our last dive was 80 something minutes. Are you sick of us? No, I have my own me time. Tell, tell me the truth. 
Yeah, I just don't care. Come back. Uh, Show us your shirt. No. Your shirt's hilarious. <laughs> bread girl. <laughs> so <laughs> random. Hey. Let's find the Lato Nuri again. Yeah. Lato Nuri. Lutifer. Yep. Lato Nuri. Lato <laughs> Nuri. No, you find the Cersei, he'll find the Lato Nuri. Jeffy will find the other one. Sounds good? Yeah. You got your tasks. Why is it so expensive? So, Finn, really huh? after much debate about caviar, what's the most expensive? Uh, we've decided we're going to start a farm for nudie brink caviar. Hello, <laughs> nudie. <laughs> yep, we're going to get the caviar of nudie. Right there. Seriously, that's all eggs. So we're going to be selling... <laughs> the nudie eggs. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, nudie caviar. <laughs> like so tiny. Yeah, we uh, need a lot. Oh, we yeah, need a lot. A lot, yes. We need a lot of the eggs for to make a jar of caviar, but yep. so we're gonna make, make it, it super happen. expensive because yep. it takes forever to find them. It's good to collect them. <laughs> I saw like five thousand of them today, and they it could probably fill a thimble. <laughs> but it's gonna be the most expensive caviar in the world. <laughs> and it's not gonna taste like slugs at all. <laughs> You're making sorry again. Sea slug caviar. It probably tastes similar to caviar. All oh, this is salty. It's just salty. Salty. Oh, put your gear away. Do your salty. Oh, they're waiting for me because I'm thinking of business ideas about nudie burnt caviar. <laughs> do you guys remember the day not too long ago when we were searching for the marble shrimp? Well, now that we found them and it's easier to find where they are, we like to film them. And this guy was the first thing I seen on this dive. Now we've learned recently that there's quite a few different species of marble shrimp. And this is just one of the cool ones. He's got a little mohawk and everything. Here's another angle of I believe the same guy. And these guys are really shy so, so when they finally let me film them, it's awesome. This little cuttlefish was hiding in the grass and he barely let me film him. It's a pretty common cuttlefish, maybe a broad club, I'm not sure, but they're always cute and I don't like passing them up. And here's a new species that I've never filmed or probably never even seen before. And it's some kind of sea slug and I'll have to look it up as well because I'm not sure if it's kind of a head shield sea slug or what. But the guy pointed this out and it was so tiny. You could see the little krill and plankton f swimming around, attracted by my lights. And you could just kind of tell how tiny this sea slug is. But another awesome addition to our Nudie Break project because it's a new one for the channel. There's some really awesome plankton in the water if you look closely completely transparent really attracted by my lights it's kind of annoying really for underwater photography oh and there there's a little tiny snail that I didn't even see until I looked at the footage later <laughs> that's pretty cute he must be really tiny then I ran into this little common frogfish but he's a really uncommon color I've never seen him in such a weird green it's actually really pretty. I didn't film them for very long because for some reason I wasn't able to get a good shot. This one's about the size of a silver dollar in the US. But yeah, like I said, what I was mostly attracted to was his color. I've never seen it in this weird. Here's a little file fish trying to sleep in a pulsing xenia. These guys are pretty cute, and I'll tell you, this is why we love night dives, because during the day, file fish and stuff like that are really shy and hard to film, but at night, they just kind of sleep. And then this guy was kind of startling. I didn't see him at first until I looked down, and there he was. He's actually really huge. Uh, I don't know how long this guy would be, probably six to eight inches long. 
but this is a mantis shrimp. And just like the marble shrimp, there's quite a few different species of mantis shrimp. This isn't the peacock that I normally see, but still pretty common. This guy likes to just poke his head out, especially at night, and he's really happy with the krill and stuff that I tracked with my light. Speaking of krill, take a look at this shot. They're really starting to cover anywhere I put with the light and ruin my shot. It looks like a flatworm, but it's a nudibranch, and it's extremely colorful and cool. But every time I turn my light on a little critter to film, these little planktons and stuff just kind of swarm. So I have to be smart. What I did was I started getting my even brighter light, and I would put it next to me, shining the opposite direction. Then I would shut off my video light for a second, and all the krill and plankton and stuff would go to the brighter light. And then, when I waited long enough, I would just switch out my video light real quick, and I'd get a little bit better of a shot. There's still plankton in there and stuff, but if I slow it down, you can still see how awesome this little nudie break is. Actually, this one's huge, guys. Not little at all. He's probably, well, not very tall, obviously, because he's so flat, but I'd like to say about five inches round. But if you want big nudies, check this guy out. I have no idea what this is. So me and my friend were just staring at it like, what on earth is that? It was almost two foot long, and it had the head of a sea hare, so I'm sure it's some kind of a sea hare. But its body was huge, definitely the biggest critter on the floor that night. And he was just slinking around, I mean, nowhere for him to hide because he's so huge. It's definitely the first time I've seen this, and I have to think that it's some kind of species of nudie, flatworm, sea hare, sea slug. Uh, <laughs> but it's massive. But this one is my favorite of the day. I love the pattern and color on this thing. I've never seen anything even remotely similar to this. Obviously this is a sea slug, not a nudibranch, because even though I can see the rhinophores up front, there's no naked gills in the back like a nudie has. But just look at that checkered pattern. It looks like a beehive, but completely transparent with red dots outlined by white. This thing was awesome. I heard everybody banging, trying to get my attention to tell me there was something a little bit farther off that I needed to film, but there was no way I was leaving this guy. This is definitely a first for me. Even seeing it, I've never even seen it in photos. So yeah, being able to film this guy and know it exists when I didn't know it existed before is a huge achievement for the day. So then I eventually went over to see what they were filming and calling me over for and it was a Spanish dancer. Now I thought that other sea hair thing was huge, but this guy was just as huge, not as tall, but just as long, maybe even longer and way more colorful and pretty. If it wasn't for all this plankton ruining my shot, you guys will see a pretty awesome little dude. So this is a decorator crab, and I see so many of these guys. You guys have seen them on probably quite a few episodes, but this one has some weird stuff on him. I'm not even sure what he's carrying on his back. Maybe that's some kind of an enemy on his back? I'm not even sure. But it looks so hilarious just walking around. And at the very end of the dive, I ran into this giant pancake. So, it looks like a poly branch. But, I always get poly branches and plural branch mixed up. So let me know in the comments below if you know what this is. But it's in the same family as Nudies and Sea Slugs. And it's not the first time I've filmed this guy. 
Maybe you've seen it in other episodes, but it's always so colorful, especially when I light him up and he can see how red and translucent he is. It's always fun filming these guys. I have no idea what this is. It's not a flounder, or maybe it is a different species of flounder that I normally see. But he's so hilarious with his bug eyes sticking out of the left side of his head. Yeah. And then there's this little, little tiny minnow or something uh, kind of hiding next to him for some reason. It's kind of weird. Maybe they're best buddies. But that is one weird fish. So at the very end of the dive, just chilling at a safety stop, I ran into what we in the industry call the Bob Marley nudie brink. You know what, after this dive, I don't mind going to my house with no air no con. Yeah. I don't you mind the heat right AC? now. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be for weeks. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, I have to order the chip online. Oh my god. Awesome dive though. Well, yeah. <laughs> I think I got another four or five different species on that on that uh, dive that I haven't filmed before. Right. It was a slow start. I was like, oh no. But then, uh, yeah, Spanish dancer. Well, you know it's going to be a good dive when you finish all your batteries. Yeah. Middle of the dive. Well, kind of at the end. I'm yeah, filming. Spanish dancer, you're like, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> my lights all went out. Both my lights died and I was swam back in the dark. And if you didn't know, like, uh, there's a lot of divers out there that are like nudibranch fanatics. And uh, I think pretty much on every single one of them, number one, well, not number one, but the bucket list is the uh, Spanish dance. Yeah, the Spanish dance is in the world. famous. I've seen it like two times now. <laughs> I've seen one in Egypt, and now I can't believe how big that one was today. Yeah. Uh, but I was still more impressed by that clear and weird pattern. Looked like a honeycomb. The worm. <laughs> we love the worms. Yeah. <laughs> so weird, man. Look, there's no, there's no forums and like chat rooms and love groups for slugs, <laughs> land worms. But there's a huge nudie break culture. Hey, think about our day today. We're mind blown about worms. You saw. <laughs> I got pissed up because I didn't see a shrimp. <laughs> what has we're, happened to our lives here? <laughs> damn, we're nerds. <laughs> we don't care about partying, drinking, going out, chasing chicks. No, we're looking for worms and shrimps. Dude, put that in perspective. <clears throat> we're underwater four hours today Yeah. looking at worms <laughs> and getting mad at shrimp and flipping off slee slugs because we've seen too many. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> but honestly, it's the only thing I want to do. <laughs> I want to go again if we warm up. 